Hi, my name is Connor. I'm with Hunter Ambrose. And today we are joined by Miss Rhonda Reimer from Catalina Medical Center. Rhonda, how are you doing today? Hi, I'm doing great. Thank my you. Pleasure. Rhonda is the interim CNO today, and today we're going to be asking her questions about her role and Catalina Med. Sorry. <laughs> Rhonda, could you please tell me about your role at Catalina Medical Center? Yes, I am the current uh, interim CNO, Chief Nursing Officer here at Catalina Island Medical Center. I've uh, been here five months, and um, we're excited to look at the... Ah! <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was oh, bad. No worries. Sorry. It's okay. This is why we got, we, we got Holly as our awesome producer editor. <laughs> That's right. Okay, let me yeah, start over. Yeah. Rhonda, can you please tell us about your role and about uh, Catalina Island Medical Center? Hi, I am the interim chief nursing officer here. I've been here for about five months and uh, the medical center is in a, in a rebuild, you might say, situation. We have an exciting new um, administrative team that has come together with a common vision and um, we have set our strategic plan and goals and we're ready to move forward in 2020. Fantastic. Uh, what is a uh, typical day in this role like? A typical day in the role for the quality infection preventionist? Yes. Okay. A typical day will be um, arriving on time to the facility and, and greeting everyone. And our goal is to begin starting the day with a daily huddle. We want to bring everyone together and look at sort of like the forecast for the day and set our plan for the week and um, uh, have celebrations for things that are going well and talk about opportunities for the Wonderful. week. And uh, what are three key attributes of an ideal candidate for this position? Three key attrib attributes would be um, looking for an individual who is team oriented, someone who is that people person, a great communicator with clear expectations and comes to the job with enthusiasm. I'm also looking for someone who is an influencer to help get people out of their comfort zones and to work towards new ways of thinking and to um, um, help promote problem solving throughout the daily work. Definitely. And um, what can you tell us about island life? What's it like living on Catalina? It's beautiful here. Um, island life is um, unique and it's a uh, small town living um, with a big town flair, especially during the uh, tour busy tourism mm -hmm. season. Uh, right now it is a little bit slower, and so it's a great time to start because we can dig in and concentrate and look forward to the busy months after, you know, after the spring and um, be well-founded by the time the tourists get here. Definitely. And um... I myself haven't been to Catalina, but from what I hear, there's no cars allowed on the island. Oh, yes. Um, thank you for mentioning that. We primarily get around by electric bikes or bicycles and golf awesome. carts. So, yeah, you won't need your car and, uh, here. Everyone is situated uh, mainly in Avalon, correct? Yes. Um, there are some outlying smaller communities, um, anywhere from 25 to 100 uh, residents in those areas, mostly populated by the island company um, employees, which are people who keep the festivities and the tourist attractions going. So Avalon is the main um, city here on the island, which is where the hospital is located. Mm -hmm. And the Avalon residents are supporting us for looking to the future in the next five to 10 years. I'd say planning phases now to the next 10 years for completion of a new facility. So um, we are considered a small critical access hospital, a rural community with, um, we have, we're, excuse me, we're licensed for 12 beds mm -hmm. and 
Um, we also have a, a two bay ER with overflow for up to four or five. And during the busy season, our ER is very, very busy. We also have an attached um, rural health clinic. So to meet the daily needs of our residents and visitors. Wonderful. And uh, just one last, one last question uh, about the island. Um, what's it like getting um, from Avalon to the mainland? Oh, yes. Um, so yeah, I've, I've only been here five months and I forgot how important <laughs> that was. Um, you have to plan ahead. And so it does take um, awareness of when you want to um, go across the ocean or we call it over town to the mainland. And you would need to get on the Catalina Express, um, which is a ferry that um, um, we do um, help and provide a commuter booklet so that people can for this role can, the person for this role can come across town to and from. Um, so yeah, it's riding the ferry about an hour over town. Um, there's a terminal in Long Beach, uh, San Pedro, and there's another one. I'm trying to think of where that one is. Can't think of no it right now. But usually there's three options along the, the coast. Awesome. Uh, last question. Is there uh, anything exciting in the works for this position uh, and your organization next year? Absolutely. Uh, kicking off this quality program, quality is uh, really uh, near and dear to my heart. Um, I have been the quality coordinator in my past and um, really saw a need for our rural community, our rural healthcare environment to, to take the quality program housewide. Um, it kind of um, became just a focus for the clinical staff in days uh, in, in the past. And so I have a, a new model and a plan and a strategy to make this an organizational wide quality program. And it will complement infection prevention, risk management, safety, and um, those Air regulatory um, planning and continuous readiness. So all of that will be our approach moving forward to the future. Amazing. Uh, Rhonda, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Um, if anyone has any mm -hmm. questions about the position, you can please direct them to recruiter at hunterambrose.com. Thank you so much. Awesome. Right. Thanks, thank you Rhonda. very much. Thanks. Have a good time. Bye -bye. Have a good day. Sorry. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Thank you. Am I, I hanging you. up?